Hi, this is Felicia with Grace Babies, and today we're going to be going over fibers. Now, these hair fibers that I, I use are all natural. Um, some have been dyed, um, but these are all from sheared animals. I only have one um, uh, fiber that was not. It came already processed. Um, and we'll kind of go over that and where my stance is on that. Um, but I like and I prefer to um, get raw fibers and clean them and um, dye them. And I use them on my dolls. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for the first part, I wanted to go over. Um, this is the Lincoln uh, wool. Now Lincoln wool... Um, or Lincoln locks, I should call them, um, take dye very well. And as I found out, so this is how it originally came to me. It was very soft and beautifully curly. I dyed it black. I'm only showing some of it because it's just, I have a lot of fibers. Um, so when I dyed it, um, I thought it felted, um, as it looks like it did. But it didn't. It's just the way it dried because I don't wring out my curls or anything. I just kind of let the fibers dry. Um, and this is what it looks like after it's been combed out and um, detangled and wet. And when it dries, it just dries so beautifully. I highly recommend this um, for just ethnic hair or um, curly hair. I can't wait to use it. Um, the next fiber that I have is um, tea's water. Now, the tea's water is curly and uh, in its raw form. Um, this, is, this is all cleaned. Um, it does have some vegetable, or vegetation I should say, um, matter on some of the locks, but that's easy to get out, just comb it through. Um, and so these are the colors that I have. They are really soft to the touch. They're fabulous for um, doll hair. I highly recommend Tease Water. Um, if you hear strange noises in the background or barking, I apologize in advance. I've got four dogs and they are noisy at times. So let's carry on. This is actually carded Tease Water, so it's straight. But when you wet it, it gets a little kinky. But it's, it's a I think it's a higher micron. I'm not sure on Tease Water how the micron works. Um, just I'm going off of mohair micron and it may not be the same. But um, So it's a lot um, firmer and it doesn't curl up like this. And I don't know if that's because it's been carded. But I use this mostly for re um, newborn because of the, um, the roughness of it. So the next thing I want to show you is... Um, Likester. 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 That's what it's called. This I just got in. And it is beautiful hair. I've never had this kind of fiber before. And I can't wait to use it. Now, it only comes about three to four inch um, locks. But it's rich. You can feel the oils when you touch it. It's just beautiful. This is washed but it's not cleaned, uh, or yeah, it is cleaned, but it does have a little vegetation throughout, just, just a tiny amount, nothing to worry about. With vegetation, it's um, just mainly like hay, things of that nature. And a lot of times sellers will sell the, the fibers washed and, and clean, but you still have to take out some vegetation. Um, so just keep that in mind. I will also, uh, include links for um, all of these fibers where I bought them from and um, all of that in the comments below you'll see the the links um, the next one is let's go over the Surrey alpaca now the alpaca is a wonderful wonderful fiber it stays straight and what I like about it is it feels like silk, but when you wet it, it doesn't felt. And so that's important for doll hair. Um, 
because if you use silk on doll hair, what I, which I, what, excuse me, which is what I used to do. Um, if you wet it, it would felt, it would ruin the hair, and I didn't like that. So I wanted something that was close to newborn hair, and this is it. Surrey Alpaca is very, very close to newborn hair. Very soft and manageable. Um, it's feathery. Um, and so I got this, and it's been, um, you know, made into the roving. This is actually Surrey Alpaca mixed with mohair. It's like 80 20 80 um surrey 20 mohair so it's extra strong and it's just as beautiful and lustrous as full-on alpaca um so and this one the locks are about five inches about five inches um this this one the locks were a little longer so there's a difference here and you probably won't be able to see it on camera this is an older um, alpaca, and this is young Surrey. Young Surrey is much more shinier um, and lighter in texture. So that's the difference between those two. Now we're going to get into um, Angora goat. I love Angora goat, and I use it a lot. Now... It runs a little bit more expensive, but there's a reason. The, it's very lustrous, very shiny. Um, it's just all around beautiful. This is uncleaned, and I buy it in bulk. This is uncleaned, and it smells like a barn. <laughs> but when you clean it, believe it or not, this is what it looks like after it's been dried and combed and all of that. Um, and so it does come out beautifully. It's very silky and um but very strong um this is also um angora and it was a curly haired angora and so i bought a whole batch of it these ones are small um locks so this comes out to i th think these are three and four inch locks so a little a little short but cute cute curly hair um and this is this came to me dyed. Now I buy this fiber from Russia from a goat farmer out there who is humane with her shearing. I will not buy from anybody out of the US that I do not trust. And she's the only one that I trust that uh takes care of her goats, loves her goats and um and it shows through the fibers. They're well fed and everything. You can always tell um, so that being said, um, she's my go-to when it comes to Angora. It takes a long time to come. This last time, I think it took, um, almost three weeks to come from Russia, but it's beautiful fibers, highly recommended. I will not buy fibers FYI from China on purpose. And the reason is I don't agree with their, um, care of animals. I've seen a lot of horrific videos on how they shear their animals and kill them. And I do not agree with that. It's inhumane. I don't like it. Um, so I'm not going to support that. That's my choice. So you can do as you will. I choose not to. Um, so when I bought this, I didn't read in the description that it actually did come from China. And it's coarse mohair, and I and I bought it because um, I was looking for something that would stay straight um, that I've had before with living felt is another place I buy my fibers from, and they are out of mohair, and the top mohair, which is a higher micron, the lower the micron, the younger the the sh sheep, and they. Um, produce shinier hair the younger they are and the older they get they produce more coarse hair so this must have come from a coarse haired goat older goat or sorry not goat sheep um and so i'm still searching for that it's hard to find in a fiber uh form for the top mohair seems that everyone's out so i'm gonna wait for the summer to get me some in bulk now this is um mohair that's been put into a roving um, thing, ball, 
and it is black it's been dyed black and it's gorgeous once you uh, this one will not curl um, so I don't know what it is with black mohair that doesn't curl um, I just bought it that way <laughs> and uh, this is the second time I bought mohair that's black that won't curl when it's wet I don't know why um, this just came in from Living Felt and it is beautiful brown light brown mohair and it's got some little strands of blonde in there which is which is gorgeous um, and their locks and the locks are in different um, lengths I think like some are five inches some are three it just depends um, on this which I'm totally okay with this is what um, mohair locks looks like um, before it's carded I always buy it carded already um, and ready to go for roving because it's just easier but I bought this and it came in I bought it at a great price and it just came in and it's beautiful and these locks are about this is all take this is all together but um, they're about five inches five to six inches um, and it's beautiful hair really beautiful um, and this is the carded one um, this one also just came in and it's a lower micron so when you wet it this is what it looks like on this end so um, it curls and a lot of uh, mohair will want to curl which is awesome now let me go over I forgot dyeing when you're dyeing it sometimes the dye won't go all the way through so you'll have like patches of white I'm trying to find like okay this is this is a good area where um, it didn't take the dye all the way so um, that's something that I have to be careful with when I'm dyeing these fibers is ensuring that they sit in super hot water for at least 10 minutes before I start I start the dyeing process so that the water has enough time to soak in and get in those fibers um, to create a more um, to create more potential for it to just take throughout the fibers, if that makes sense. So that's it. That concludes um, my fibers that I use for my dolls. Um, I will be making a video on how I make the doll wigs, and um, it's very simple and cost effective and I highly encourage you to try to do this if you can it's just buy in bulk it's cheaper it's more cost effective and a lot of times these are um, you know just farmers shearing their animals and it makes for just wonderful doll hair and you don't have to worry about what you know the humane process of it all um, as I try to really pay attention to that when it comes to animals so anyways that concludes please subscribe if you haven't already because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos and sharing tips and tricks with you for polymer clay dolls I appreciate you have a blessed week bye